Alrighty then, for jarred up January that I'm doing right here in October and finally got a rainy day, I'm going to be canning layered chicken soup. It's my icon picture. I also use it for pot pies. It is fantastic to have on hand. And this is the result of my big old red fish I caught yesterday. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Nothing like some red drum. Alrighty then, it's jarred up January. I'm doing it in October. And we are a fixin' to can up some quart jars of layered chicken soup. It is my icon picture, has been since day one. So, I do my lineup. I've got my potatoes cut and soaking in lemon juice and water. Next will be carrots. Then I put green beans, then peas, then the chicken, then some corn, some celery, onion, and chunks of tomato. You do need to put lemon juice in this, the quart jars, and I'm also going to put a half a teaspoon of salt because I like my potatoes with some salt when I can them. So I'm going to get a little assembly line and then I will be filling those jars to the headspace with two <laughs> turkey broths. See? They look a little different, but that's how it goes. So let's can up some layered chicken soup. It ain't hard, it's canning. So we're gonna start our assembly line. I've got the things lined up as you saw in the order that they go. I already have a teaspoon of lemon juice in my quart jars. So this is just moving along with your assembly line. So I like potatoes in the bottom and I am using a slotted spoon because remember I have lemon juice in that. I don't need a million potatoes. I just put a layer at the bottom. So now we're gonna get our carrots. I have more carrots if I need them. Come on, people, keep up. We gotta move along. Now it is green beans. My hands are clean. You should wash yours, it's important. Now our peas. I love Lesseur Petit Pois peas. That is my go-to pea. Now, come on. Got my salt there so I don't forget it. Now our chicken. Because remember, it's chicken soup and my pot pie business. And I have more chicken if I need it. Move back, turkey stock. Corn. Love corn. And let's at the corn stop, let's do our half teaspoon of salt. Kosher salt, cannon salt, anything but table salt, because remember it'll cloud your jar. So now we've got some celery. Get to meet Fred, look at Fred. Some onion. And our tomatoes. So my tomatoes are my last layer. All right. Let's slide you back down here. Oh, don't get dizzy. Okay, so if you can see our jar. So we're gonna pokey Joe at this point before we've added our stock. I need a paper plate. Remember, we're gonna have an inch of head space. So I'm gonna do some more, let's see, let's put some more peas. Oh, I need my guard on. That's a metal spoon. Let's do some more peas. And let's do a little bit more onion. A little bit more celery. All right. 
So there we have that one. For grins, we're gonna go ahead and pour in one of our stocks and we need one inch of head space. Pokey Joe to get any air bubbles out. These are beautifully, I slide it down the side. We can take some more, just a wee bit, just a bit. There we go. Now we've nailed it. Now I'm gonna get my lid on it and a ring because all of these ingredients are just, well, chicken's not room temperature, it's cold. Uh, the rest are just room temperature vegetables. My canner is not on, so I will go and do the assembly line of filling my jars. Then I'll put my stock in it. If I need to open another quart, I can. One of the many joys of being a canner, you got plenty of stuff in your pantry, and then I'll get them in the canner. This is a beautifully canned item, and it's delicious. And like I said, I also use it uh, as the ingredient the filler for my pot pie. Righty then, we got five quart jars and I had a little less than one quart jar of turkey broth left. So I used one, say, and a little more than one and a half quarts to top my jars off. Got my lids on, now I'm gonna turn my canner on, let it vent for 10 minutes. Then it's going to process for 90 minutes. There's chicken in this. So this is gonna be delicious and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Cannon, it ain't hard. Get some food on your shelves for the winter. Alrighty then, our 90 minutes has ended and we're gonna see how our five quart jars look. And remember, this lid has some drippy drip hot water and steam will come out and you do not want that to get you. So let's take a look at one. Oh Lord, it smells good. Oh gosh, they're heavy. Alrighty then, we did have some siphoning. Don't freak out if that happens in your canner. Uh, it can happen with stocks. It generally happens with tomato products. Nothing is wrong with your jars as long as they seal. So don't freak out. It is dark outside, so you won't get a great visual, but there are my four, and then here is my lonely one. I love these, love them. So this is layered chicken soup in a jar. It's gonna be yummy, and remember I use it for pot pies, excuse my table, but I've been canning and cooking for three days. Somebody needs to mop my floor. What a hot mess my kitchen is. My stove top looks like it's been in a war. So to prepare this to make it a pot pie, I do uh, like two tablespoons of butter in a pot, two tablespoons of flour, and I get that hot and thick. I add some tarragon, some Italian seasoning, um, some onion powder, and then I drain out of that jar all of the chicken stock. Then that stock was made by the chicken that's in the chicken soup quart. So then I put my bottom crust in, I butter the bottom of this casserole, then I put the filling, then I put the top one, and it's gonna go on 400 for about 25 minutes. Because remember, everything in it is cooked. It cooked in the pressure canning process. I do not make a pretty pie dough. I don't even try. It just ain't my jam. But you know what this will be? Delicious. It ain't pretty but it's gonna make people happy. So that's how I turn my chicken, my layered chicken soup quart into a pot pie. It ain't hard. You can either buy them little roll out um, pie crust. I don't think they're terrible. I think I'm gonna wipe this with some um, egg wash though. 